did you ever just decide, you know what, I am who I am and I love it. I'm fucking love it. You know, did you ever, have you gotten to that place? Yeah. I mean, I, I get to that place a lot of the time and then there's still times where like, it's just, yeah. it, it, the thing is about this is that I love myself so much and I'm so proud of myself and I'm so thankful for everything that my body does and has done. And the thing that makes me not feel that way is when other people tell me that I don't, that I don't deserve to feel that way. That's when I have hard days. That's whenever I struggle Mm -hmm. with, do I, I mean, maybe they're right. That's when I start retreating back to the way that I used to think. Um, If it wasn't for that being told that all the time, I think that I would actually be a little bit better. You know, I would actually be able to wake up every single day and at least choose to feel good about myself and to feel confident. Um, But it gets really difficult whenever the world, like I'm changing and I'm evolving and growing and uh, the world around me is not keeping up with that. And that's what makes it really difficult. You're right. They're not, they're not keeping up. And then there's, you know, Shane and I were just talking about this this morning. I mean, this is what we all talk about with this dismantling of ever, all of the things that we're all unlearning, mm-hmm. you know, but this idea of a woman has to look a certain way. There's a whole faction of people that are just like gripping onto it so tightly because that's how they identify. And I think, you know, as you can see, even in just three years to see the shift that you've seen right. and the acceptance and that those people are just going to get louder and louder. Unfortunately, you're bearing it because they're going to go down screaming into the pit of fire, yeah. walking off into the sunset, feeling fucking great. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to drop the f bombs, but it's it's so obvious that you know this is it's so obvious that it's the whole idea that we teach our children about bullies is that the people who don't love themselves at yeah. all are the meanest to someone who does because hurt people hurt yeah, people. Yeah, and it's yeah. And so my next question is then what, what makes you decide to carry this torch? You know, why are, why do you put up with all the bullshit and all the comments, you know, what, yeah, what's I mean, to you it, that just allowed, that made you just be this put yourself beautiful, out there. amazing platform? Mm-hmm. It's the community a hundred percent. I, since the only reason that I even like cared enough to start um, investing more time in Instagram and my platform was because of the community, because of the women that would reach out to me and say, you know, I, I decided to go to the gym today. I decided to wear the bathing suit with my son today. It's Mm -hmm. those, those messages. And I get them every single day. Those are the ones that I hang on to. And the ones that give me that strength to say, you know what, like, I'm going to, no matter what these people are telling me, I have to keep doing this because it is making a difference. What I'm doing is making a difference for women and people who are struggling and not feeling represented and not feeling like there's anybody who's in their corner saying that, no, like everybody else is full of shit. Like they really are. And they're, they're trying to make you believe something so that they can take your money so that they can profit off of your insecurities. Mm -hmm. And at some point you have to think and reach that, you know, I am not just a body. I'm not here as like a decoration for society. I am here for all of these other things. Like I have so many other qualities and that's a lot of what I'm trying to learn about myself so that I can teach that to my daughter so that when she is a little bit older and we're having full on conversations that aren't about like her poopy, it's like, then at that point I can tell her that she is more than a body. I can compliment her on her, on how like artistic she is. I can um, compliment her creativity and her strength. And I can actually focus on all those other things that make her who she is. And I'm hopeful that the whole, like my appearance and my body and how I appear in the world outside of my home is so, so important. And it's like, I, I don't want her to think that I want her to have that be a secondary thought that like, she's going to go into the world and she's going to use those strengths and those things that I've been building her up with to use that as her force and her power so that she can make a difference in whatever way she's going to make a difference. And she won't go into the world thinking that her only purpose here is to have a certain size body and to have, you know, certain style of hair, even though, you know, I, I do my best with mine. Um, 
yeah, we it's gotta just, have a little flare every now and then. Yeah, you know? every now and then. <laughs> like I just, but it's because the reason that I was able to do this in my hair is because I felt confident in myself as a person. Yeah, first in my in my, and not just like what everybody else thinks. Like I would have never done this to my hair, you know, a few years ago, like ever. It would have been the last thing I did.